Savage. On to Payne. Got a little one, got a little space, and got the bucket. You could see the instinct. Boy, looks rusty, doesn't he, Doris? Yeah. <laughs> Payne off the screen by McGee, catch and shoot three, and Bridges rattles it home. And now, as you made note of, we'll get a look at Norman Powell back from that broken foot, broken bone in his foot. JaVale McGee rolls up. Their road record. Reggie Jackson and Bridges battling for the loose ball. McGee with a little room service underneath. Nice play. Couldn't get around that Subot screen. Man, what a screen assist by the big man. His brother, Puff, was a big catalyst for North Carolina in the title game. Had that little uh, reversal, had an upset stomach. Comebacks this season. So he said, listen, if there's going to be a guy that needs to be a candidate, it needs to be our guy, Ty Lue. Jonesy? Some very valid points there, George. Practice buddies at 14 years old. Subots kicks it out on the short roll to Morris. Lob up top. Great passing by the Clippers. Telling us before the game, you may have a different starting lineup first half, second half. Paul George's reaction to the block shot he just made, like you can tell. Still haven't seen Norman Powell, who's going to be back after missing two months with a broken foot. Craig from downtown got it. That's who he is, right? That aggressive downhill, assertive attacking guard. Peyton inside, slammed on the break. Tennessee State, famous HBCU. Paul George to the bucket, kicks it out to Powell. Got it. Rewarded earlier this year with a two-year, 20-plus million dollar deal. Hartenstein from deep. Got it. Sons, man. Thought he was going to try and punch another one home. Batum. Pump fake. Got it. Oh, tell you what, doesn't look like a guy who had 96 days off, does no, he? No, no. They are outscoring and fine. Good rotation by Cam Johnson to make the steal. Get it and one. Army Zubats with the rebound. He also had a pretty strong argument for his guy Booker as Powell books one from the seat. There's Shamit. Johnson drives it inside. Biombo lays it way too much in that first half they feel like if they do that they'll get the looks they 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 were searching for well there was a clean look george one and a half offensive boards per game and doris you talked about it a little bit earlier in our meeting that zubats in the middle couldn't stop mcgee that time george caught the defense sleeping out to morris and twin cashes out your national championship when he goes nah mark i just took some cash <laughs> <laughs> and that's cash right there. Double double alert with eight boards as well. Good anticipation by Jackson for the steal. Mark, Spins, do you, got it. Do you think you'd be optimistic? Completely 100% trust the decisions of Ty Lue. Big time. And that's huge. Big time. Shamit raising up. Payne out there. Cross court to Shamit. Wide open. That's two in a row for him. That one a three ball in Ty Lu. Here's Aaron Holiday in the ball game for the first time tonight here in the third quarter. Out to Johnson for the three. Holiday knocks down another three for Phoenix. As Monty likes to say, we have set a standard of play, and even if the score might be the score, we want to be hard, playing hard, we want to be competitive. Right, so I think you have to play them the last couple of games. Maybe not their normal minutes, but you're already going to be taking a... Could be the fewest minutes played per game by any player to win the MVP. The previous record holder, Steph Curry with 34.2. Wow. Well, and I, I don't think Devin Booker's getting no consideration. I think finishing top five right. in the MVP. It seems like, feels like it's been a miss for me with the voters, or at least the voters that have put out their votes to this point. Yeah, that, that's a good point, because you hear with Jokic a lot, his candidacy. I think that's where I stand on that. Yeah. And it's listen, fascinating. It is. It's a fascinating argument. Everybody, I'm with you. I could wake up tomorrow and say, like you just said, either one of those. I could flip-flop tomorrow morning and wake up and say MB, and then wake up the start of the fourth quarter. Clippers in control, leading by 26.
Off Jones courtside along with Doris Burke, George Sedano, Wainwright. Remember how many big shots Reggie Jackson made last year in the playoffs for the Clippers? Man off the glass, Hartenstein with the offensive rebound. No reset on the shot clock, nope. One of my old-time favorites used to play at Tennessee State, Doris. You remember Truck Robinson, right? Oh, yeah. New York Dicks. Coach is doing on those off days for the guys who aren't playing. They're playing two-on-two two and three-on-three, five-on-five. Stay ready. By Holiday, who was a member of the Pac-12's all-defensive team as a collegian. Covington, block and one. Some commitments, too, uh, going plant-based. I know Jay Crowder's told me that he's converted, too. And back comes Tory Craig. Wainwright kicks it back out to Craig, who steps into the three ball. That jumper by Ludenberg, no good. Back out to Holiday, one more to Craig for three. And Reacting, loving what this group has given them. And look at this play by Lundberg. Lundberg with the steal, Holiday in traffic, counted and one. Lundberg kicks it back out to him. And Wainwright for three. The lead is down to 10. 15 nothing run. Terrence Mann out to Covington. Had all day to line up the seams. That particular season, so this season, has played in every game. Happened in 2016 17, another bucket. And he mentioned, he's like, listen, I'm, I'm concerned that star players are, quote, not playing as Hartenstein gets a big bucket. It really is in the long run as Craig makes the steal. 13 point lead, Torrey Craig with a nice left-handed finish. Paying money to yeah. see him for the first time. He was gonna shoot up. Wainwright with another deep three. Holiday gets it back. Throws up a three. Payne got it. Diombo overplaying to the backcourt pass. They try and trap Moon, can't. And Holiday finally fouls. There will be no value comebacks tonight. Diombo with a nice tip. DeAndre Ayton ain't walking through that door.